So yeah, after the time skip, we're going to be spending most of our weekends doing this. Our in-game weekends, I should say. Most of them are going to be spent exactly on this kind of leveling. With all different sorts of characters. Alright, him and him. Let's go. Items. You want to equip this one. Blacksmith, repair, this one, and forge, that one. Okay, and I think this also gives us extra Evo, yeah. Evo and health regeneration, so we're gonna park ourselves right over here and we're gonna stay right there. Let's go. Whoa, chill. You're not supposed to kill people yet. Oh, what? Who? Excuse me, what? How? How did I go? I know you did 23 damage, but who? Oh, this dude then. Okay. No. Um. Okay. I guess we have to start out with a normal bow. Okay. Please survive this, Felix. Stronger, huh? Oh, thank God. He does need to level up a few more um, times with his uh, brigand rank. Stronger, huh? How are we looking? Um, you know what? I I think he might actually be able to afford switching back to a normal weapon. I think it should actually work. At least I hope so. Twenty. Yeah, let's give it a try. Should work, I think. Twelve left. Should be fine. Yeah, we should be okay here. There we go. Also some pretty good level ups for Felix, honestly. Now we can finally put everyone back into the classes that they're actually supposed to be in. Reclass. Go back into Sniper. Oh. You go back into Paladin. Let's see what I uh, get our items back. Chalice of Beginnings. Where 
Where's your crit bone? Come on. This is fine. This is fine. She's fine again. Yeah. She is already back with her usual stuff. Okay, let's see. Uh... Who else needed some level ups? I think it's only... Oh, he has an intermediate seal, nice. And he too, wow. Um, I think the next one who actually needs it is... Yeah, actually, let's give you the experience gem. And then let's give Ferdinand the knowledge gem. And let's give him a axe as well. And the rest of them should actually be fine. Like, it doesn't really matter. Um, I suppose it doesn't really make any difference who I put here. But if we're going to go with people who need level ups and who don't have, like, the right stuff who could use a knowledge gem, I think we're gonna bring her. Oh, oops, knowledge gem. And a broken lance. And Felix is gonna need his shield back. So, Aegis shield. There we go. Um, did I reclass? Yes. Abilities. Very important. We didn't just do this for fun. We also did it so we can get abilities. He is Fine, she needs starting blow. And actually her magic is good enough. I would rather have, sh have her have HP plus five, to be honest. Okay, battalions. Byleth is a 40 rank B, so she's gonna get the stride battalion. Secret Transport Force, very good AVO, um, gives stride and is a flying battalion. Doesn't get much better than this. He can keep that. Um, what's the highest one you can take that has attack? This one. You're gonna need something with hit. Whoops. Physical attack, let's go. Um. She already has the magic battalion, she has a magic battalion. She can't get much better because she doesn't have enough authority. If she had B in authority, I would give her the Galatea Corp, which is from her own paralogue. Both because it's thematically appropriate and because it's just a really good um, a really good battalion. Okay, one thing we need to make sure of is Yeah, we need to save and then we need to see that we can save scum. The battle in the outskirts. Um, I'm just gonna double check. I think we have the bow already, right? The rusted bow that is Parthia? Yes. But we don't have any of the other items just yet. We don't have the rusted sword. We don't have the rusted lance. We don't have the rusted axe and we don't have the rusted gauntlets either. Okay, so everything except the bow is useful. Let's go. Let's see if we can get this. 
because remember the rare enemies, the rare monsters can drop, uh, can drop mythical weapons, and um, we are going to try to get all five of them. So let's see, what do you have, monster? Ooh, really one of these. Silver axe. We don't need that. We reload. <laughs> and we are gonna keep on reloading until we find something that actually works. Ideally, we want a um, we want a flying monster there, but I will take any other monster as well. Works out just fine. We are going to fight at least a few flying monsters in order to get mithril for upgrading those weapons. Silver sword, not what I need. I want to see Mercurius. And I don't even remember what the others are called. The claws are called dragon claws. But I don't remember what the axe is called or the... Uh, was the axe the old Claire? I think it was the old Claire. Silver sword. And the lance. Fuck me if I remember what the lance was called. Like, I don't remember, honestly. And those are all weapons from the previous games, by the way. So those are like little nods to the previous game lore. Which I think is really cool that they put that in there. Mercurius, there we go. So it's gonna be this dude, got it. Um, we wanna get over there as fast as possible, so. Oh, why do I have Caspar on the field? What the fuck? And you two can actually hang back. You are far enough, honestly. Um, okay. Cyril. Ferdinand. And who else did we have? Oh. Um, Manuela. I forget Manuela is on a Pegasus, so we can actually give her to Violet. Which is really good. If I put Dimitri over here, yeah, he can... Pushes foe one tile away, which is definitely not what I need, honestly. But she doesn't reach far enough, even with the march ring, which kind of sucks. What kind of battalion do you have? A pretty useless one. Okay. Um... Okay, but just gonna do it like this. Please come over here. Let's go. I'll cut through. He can gambit over here. Time is now. Yeah, I think I. I usually get the axe at least because a lot of the axe users don't have crests. So for them, if you want like a super strong weapon, it's going to be either a killer weapon what I or do? it's going to be one of those rare weapons. But those are basically your only options. Oh, wow. Okay. Actually, I can use some combat arts for a change. That's new. Sufficient. Here goes. Uh, she can attack whoever.
Stay focused. Should I have held back? It's all instinct now. There we go. Um ready. Oh. These guys can all just move up. I'm on it. Actually, can I? Ah, that won't matter, won't it? No. Okay. Well. Anyway, move up. Here we go. Oh, you poor fool! Trying to attack Sylvain. You're out of luck. Ouch. I had no choice. Let's see, what do you have on it? Feeling stronger. Ah, it's decent. I got it all down. Dimitri with his 100% crit chance. That was bound to happen. Alright. Heal her, please. Yeah, thanks. Oh, no. So we're going to break this barrier first. Okay. Bunch of food steel. Oh, actually wanted him to get that kill. Um, so let's do this slightly differently. What should I do? I'll cut through. There we go. Rusted sword, thank you very much. Alright. I'll give it my all. Here goes. Let's just move a few right. people up ahead, honestly. Level 24, yeah, she can afford to wait outside. Um. Stay focused. Oh, oh, that's an archer. Yeah, no, they're staying here. We're good. Have I oh! You guys are all waiting in line to get your asses kicked by Ingrid? Wow. I mean, to each his own. That's what you enjoy. Archer over here. Each battle a chance to grow. <clears throat> yeah, might as well try for the killer bow. Let's go. Also a very good level up. Thirty-two, thirty. Oh wow! Uh, 
Yeah, Dimitri to the rescue. Let's go. That's a bit overkill. He's already half dead, Dimitri. Is that all? But, oh god, his speed his speed stat is abysmal. Especially compared to Sylvain and Felix. Here we go. Holy moly. He's definitely gonna need a few speed boosters. You can rely on me. I think he might actually have the lowest speed stat of the entire gang. Except for the do. No, even Oh my god, he's even slower than the do. Yikes. Okay, Dimitri, we're definitely gonna have to feed you some of those sweet, sweet boosters. Because this won't do at all. <laughs> Holy moly, he has been receiving shit level ups for speed, honestly. Yeah, that is really impressive. When your when your speed is lower than the guy with a whoa. That was tough. Am I gonna lose Ash here? Maybe. Shit. Okay, we're gonna have to redo this. Yeah, skip, 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 skip. We're gonna have to rewind. What was the last one we did? Um. Ingrid. Ready. You have my support. Let's go. Our strategy is solid. When your speed stat is lower than the guy with a 15% speed growth who is in a class with zero speed bonuses, you know something is going wrong. And it's probably because um it's probably because I'll get Paladin and Cavalier, the two classes that we've been using for him, both give a penalty to speed growth, so it makes sense that his speed growth is shit. It's just, it's not good. <laughs> we need to fix that. Getting struck. Like, even characters who are on the bench, who haven't done anything the entire run, have better speed than he does. That's just not good. What should I do? Luck wasn't with you. All right. I'll give it my all. That's how it goes. Twenty five, twenty six, twenty five. Here goes. I just usually want to wait with distributing stat boosters until I'm actually in the uh, until I'm actually in my master classes because until then you also have to account for class different differences. So, for example, Pegasus Knights automatically get a higher class, a higher speed bonus than other classes. So I like to wait for that. But yeah, as soon as we've got everyone in the master classes, we're gonna have to distribute some stat boosters because yikes. That is an absolutely abysmal speed stat. Also, the good news when you're playing solo runs is yet you don't have to worry about who gets the stat boosters. You just give everything to the same person. <laughs> and you end up with extremely busted stats. Listen up, everyone. The Imperial Army is upon us. If you can fight, pick up a weapon. Everyone else, hurry up and evacuate. We have the goddess's protection on our side. 
We have nothing to fear. Victory will be ours. Professor, are you ready? Well, hurry up. I don't need to tell you that the situation is dire. We have some support troops from the local nobles, but the army we're facing is immense. No matter how you look at it, we're at a disadvantage. To make matters worse, the enemy is being led by Edelgard. Do not underestimate how extraordinary her abilities are. They're here. At long last. It seems this will be a battle to remember. About time. I'll never give up. No matter how outnumbered we are, I'll fight to the very end. Hmm. I should have made a move on the Imperial Princess before things got this far. It could have changed everything. Hmm. We have the Goddess's divine protection on our side. All that's left is to try our best. All we can do is fight as best we can. Though, if I'm being honest, I'm really scared right now. You've been MVP so often, you'll be fine in it. In the monastery. We'll stop her, no matter what it takes. Your Highness, you do not seem well. <laughs> Unwell, you say? What's gotten into you? Nothing could be farther from the truth. I'm so happy I can hardly contain uh -huh. myself. My father, my stepmother, my dear friends. They want her head. They want her life. They've whispered as much to me. And the chance to answer their pleas has arrived at long last. <laughs> of course, of course. But don't mistake my intentions. Edelgard will die by my hand, and mine alone. Let's move, Professor. Even if it costs me my life, I won't rest until I've crushed her skull in my bare hands. Yikes. Uh, Dimitri is very much losing it. What he just said about they've whispered as much to me, that, by the way, is not uh, him being metaphorical. Um, we will learn soon enough that he does actually have legit hallucinations of the dead loved ones that he lost and believes that they are telling him to kill the people responsible for their deaths. So this guy is suffering from so much PTSD, he has actual psychotic breaks. And we are there. So this is not going to be fun for anybody involved. So Vane, uh, no, you're not ready to go on your... Ah, uh, he still needs a bit more reason. If I try to certify him now, how much does he get? 70% chance. Oh, because his riding rank is also a bit behind. Yeah, let's not do that then. Let's wait for it just a little bit longer. But good to know that we're almost there. Let's get rid of this rusted sword. Let's make sure that all of our weapons are fully... That all of our stuff is fully in order. And also... Good thing that I just saw that there. Um, we're gonna have to change the battalions up a little bit. Because here's the problem. Once we are done with this level 12 battle, uh, chapter 12 battle, we will have a couple of cutscenes and then we will go straight into the first battle of chapter 13, which is hunting by daybreak. You will not get a chance to change your abilities, your weapons, or your battalion in between those battles. And any battalion that you have equipped at the end of chapter 12 will be refilled. The entire um, battalion health will be refilled, which is the last thing we want for the battalion that Dimitri is currently using. So we are actually going to give him a different battalion. This also means that he is going to lose out on most of his abilities. So we're going to have to change his ability kit a little bit because right now he depends very much on having a battalion that is low health for his battalion wrath and battalion vantage. But since we want to avoid those Faldaria soldiers refilling, we have to make sure that we actually get him a different battalion um, 
and get that whittled down. Now this is the Keyhole Vibrant, it's another one of the really really good battalions, so we're going to use that one instead. And we are going to make sure that we're going to refill his, uh, that we're going to change his abilities a little bit, just to make sure. Um, he's got HP plus 5, specifically the thing we're going to give him is instead of HP plus 5, no, instead of Dexterity, we are going to give him Sword Breaker. This will help him dodge against um, against sword users, which is going to be really, really good for him uh, in the next chapter map, in chapter 13, because that is a map that is very much full of sword fighters. And especially if you are on maddening, I know a lot of people who say chapter 13 on maddening in the blue lines is pretty much impossible because yeah, with uh, Silver Snow, you get at least Setif, and he's a flyer. And with um, Chapter and with uh, Verdant Wind, you get Claude, and he's a flyer. And that makes it easy to get them out of trouble and, and get through Chapter 13. But Dimitri is in a footlock class at the beginning of Chapter 13. So a lot of people say it's pretty much impossible to do hunting by daybreak um, with Dimitri. But it's not. You just have to remember to give him Swordbreaker. Like, that is literally the most important thing. Before you go into Chapter 12 battle, give him Swordbreaker. And then you'll be fine. You can absolutely solo Maddening Chapter 13 Blue Lines relatively easily if you have Swordbreaker. If you don't have Swordbreaker, you can forget about it. It's just not going to happen. Okay, so now that we've changed that up a bit, I think we should be ready to go. We're going to save just in case. And I, I hate every single mission where we have to defend Garrick Mark because this map sucks ass and it's always a terrible battle, especially on Maddening. No offense, like the three battles where I really legit felt like quitting my Maddening run on uh, on Asher Moon was the battle for the Eagle of the Lion in Chapter 7, this battle in Chapter 12, and then the second time you have to defend Garrick Mark in Chapter 14 or 15. Those were the times when I was really like, I'm done. <laughs> I, I just want to quit. <laughs> I didn't, but I, I, I lost so many hours to those battles. It's ridiculous. Anyway, uh, we are thankfully not on Maddening. We are on Hard, so this should be doable. Let's get going. are going to get a bunch of really nice cutscenes though, so that's good. <laughs> 